Hello everyone, super nice meeting you. My name is Shaked Ershkovitz and I'm from Monday.com. I would like to thank Data Art for inviting me here. Uh, our trusted partner, Data Art, uh, have asked us to tell you uh, how basically we're doing project management with uh, Monday.com and how the AI capabilities basically changed and created a revolution in the life of a project manager. If you don't know Monday, or if you're curious to know more about AI, if you come from tons of use cases, including project management, marketing, or product management, everyone will find their common ground and the way to relate to what we're trying today. And I think one of the things that we really want to emphasize is that the thing that you're about uh, uh, to see and experience today, they're already part of the product. A lot of time when we're talking about AI, we're thinking about something very visionary, something from the future, something which will come in five to 10 years. You are about to see a live demo of how Monday.com uh, basically uh, uh, using AI and how it can be embedded uh, into the life of a project manager. The future is here and the future is already uh, uh, here for us to experience it, enjoy it, and basically boost uh, the workflows and our productivity within uh, our day to day. Thanks again for joining us today. I uh, very much would like to, to hear your uh, follow-up questions. If you have more interest, both me and that our team really want to give you our very best uh, and our best foot forward so you can get uh, all of your questions uh, answered. And we like this uh, type of curiosity. A little bit about myself. I'm, I'm leading the solution consulting practice of Monday.com. I've been around for almost four years now uh, and I'm super passionate about everything you're about to see. Uh, one small spoiler, I would say that a lot of it will be upgraded and enhanced in the next months to come, and of course, during uh, 2024. So uh, let's get uh, straight to it. So before we even talk about the Monday.com uh, offering, let's first understand or explain the Monday.com journey, because I think it tells a lot about uh, the reason and the topics of why we, we're all here. Monday.com uh, was ranked as one of the top three most hyper growing companies uh, in the world. What started as a garage startup in 2012 uh, now is a public company traded in Nasdaq, one of the most uh, uh, biggest IPO of the Israeli uh, tech industry, uh, worth between six to seven billion uh, dollars in terms of uh, company worth, uh, constantly hitting uh, uh, the forecast of, of revenues year after year, quarter uh, after quarter. I think the secret sauce of uh, Monday.com uh, through a journey is the fact that it started from a no-touch product. When we say no-touch, we mean that it was basically used by small teams, um, um, it was used by team members, it was used by team leaders, it was used by different people uh, who used it in a very small uh, aspect and they liked to use it. They, they liked the fact how it feels, they felt that they need this kind of offering, it was very visual. But it even goes fundamental, uh, or it even goes deeper than that. Uh, basically, Monday.com was architected, and we're going to see it today, to fit every use case, every industry, every language. Compared to uh, the historical IT industry, where someone had to envision uh, what do you need, and someone had to build something for you or customize something for you, and a lot of time it comes with quotes of uh, money and lots of uh, lead time. Basically, this open platform that we're about to see today was launched uh, with, by giving the users uh, the power, the tool, the control that they want to get. And I think this is the secret to us. And today we operate in 200 industries uh, and 200 countries across the world. So regardless of where you are and what you do and what is your organization job going or what is your language, we're very much there to, to support you and give you a powerful offering um, which you can customize uh, as you wish. Monday.com is also part of the no-code world, which means that the majority of things that you want you want to do in your day-to-day -day can happen uh, with no-code. Like there's no need for a single hello world, custom development, uh, professional services. You can, you can start from the UI. It's very simple. Uh, we can see that 70% of our users are non-tech uh, non uh, savvy. That basically means that those are people that they are not very much familiar or professional with technology but yet they found Monday.com very uh, powerful and useful in their day-to-day. -day. Last but not least, I would say that throughout the journey of Monday that started in 2012, uh, Monday basically launched what we call the Client Facing Guild. These are the consulting uh, partners, uh, the same partner data art that we have here. 
So basically, we started from small teams, not even knowing each other, from users who came into our website and started using Monday as their own initiative. But now Monday.com became um, a critical or a strategic enterprise tool. And we can see it quarter over quarter, year over year, that more and more enterprises adopt Monday. We can see that um, IT organization um, and, and different and many buyers that we use not to know basically start using Monday. And we can see this growth, they're budgeting, they're forecasting, they're asking monday.com to come into their tech stack. Um, and a lot of time it can come from in the flavor of a whole new tool, but it can also come by replacing uh, some other tools. So a big trend and a big buzz in what we call a work OS or calibration tool. And that can come in the flavors of many, many tools uh, to come. So that's a little bit about the company. Um, our vision is to build a work operating system. Uh, and that vision is, is something which is now happening and mission critical in lots of organization. Um, we are basically the backbone, right? Or we are basically a, a critical a, a system that, which basically controls the beating heart of those organizational or the spine, if you wish. So organization of any size, again, we started from no touch and now we, we very much up to 70 or 80% of the outcome from enterprise can basically build their tools and processes and Monday.com can be an out of the shelf offering so they can manage every aspect of the work. Traditionally, like the bread and butter which we started our journey in was project management and then came uh, marketing and creative. Um, but since then we, we grew dramatically and now we basically have lots of powerful templates, solutions and offerings for uh, lots of lots of uh, industries uh, out there. I would say that project management, which will be used today in the live demo, is very easy uh, to showcase because regardless of who you are and, and what you do, you have some kind of element of project management in your day to day. Like you have those strategic projects that you want to promote, you want to push, you want to uh, uh, overperform, you want to monitor and you want to report upon while people can collaborate and get more done. So we talked about the company journey, we talked about the balance between we want users to love us, but from the other hand, we want to be an enterprise-based tool and that's a careful game to play. Let's talk a little bit about the value proposition, the why. Why should I adopt a, a tool like Monday into my tech stack? Before we even go into like uh, the nice uh, bullets that you see here, I would say that on average, we know that enterprises have in their tech stack around 130 tools. That's a lot. SMB has around 50 tools in their tech stack. That's a lot. What we don't want to be, we don't want to be another tool in the tech stack, um, which basically uh, isn't being used, uh, isn't being adopted. We want to be uh, the central, okay? We want to be basically uh, the connecting uh, tissue between those elements. So we know that Monday.com is no code. Um, and the value proposition starts with the fact that this is a flexible, or we'd even say an open platform. It can fit thousands of thousands of use cases. A lot of time as a solution consulting director in one day, I basically say to my customers, why don't you tell me what do you want? Why don't you tell me how you do things today? And let's see how it can live upon Monday or how we do it. However, I would say that Monday.com is in a stage of, of the life cycle where I'm not only translating what they want to build inside Monday, I can also give them the consultancy of how they should do it the right way and what's the recommended approach based on all of our customers worldwide. That's roughly 200,000 customers worldwide. Okay, so it's an open, no code system where you can bring in your own methodology. Like um, it's very much up to you to determine how things will work. Tomorrow morning, there's a change of regulation. Tomorrow morning, there's a change of protocols. You can basically um, uh, get and, and do that change yourself. It enables intelligent work planning regardless of what that work is. That including a uh, workload management, uh, that includes understanding what teams and individuals are doing. And um, basically we're able to get more done, like a true sense of ownership uh, and also more productivity from teams and employees using Monday. Um, one of the most famous cases you can see is one of the coolest companies in the US. Uh, they're basically using Monday.com uh, for a shift for basically staffing their contact center. So yeah, staffing their contact center, sorry. Uh, and also there's like one of the biggest um, um, retail companies in the US, they use us for shipments. So the use cases are endless. Regardless of what kind of work you're doing and planning you're doing, we want to give you intelligent work planning, like visibility, who's doing what, 
Uh, how does it look in the weeks to come? Can I get more out of my teams and users? Okay, so on the one hand, we don't want to point fingers, but from the other hand, we want to make sure we are in a, a full capacity and of course avoid burnout. Instant performance insight is important to understand that uh, the Monday.com um, reporting tools, such as dashboards, they work in real time. A lot of time as a solution consulting director, when I'm being in touch with the customers worldwide and I ask them how much time it takes you to build a recurring report or a report for a board meeting, just as an example. They say it takes us two weeks to collect the data and behind the scenes there's like a two weeks lag time of the actual data and figures. So it's basically our management always sees in a lag of one month from the moment they ask to see. So they're basically in taking decisions on old data, which is a one month old. Okay, and, and I think one of the nice things within Monday is that uh, you can basically get a real-time understanding of where things at, okay, including a, a drill. You can zoom in and zoom out, so it's not only telling you the story and the numbers, but it also retrieves the underlying information within it. I think the reason why enterprises take one month to, to see data or to collect and analyze data, um, I think the fact is that through time, they build their own silo tools HR have their tools, uh, and the tech department have their tools, and even within the tech department, there's different subunits. Like everyone adopted the tool that they like, that that created like a huge tech stack, but that also created like siloed, rigid tools, not talking with each other. And I think what we want to do is make Monday.com the offering uh, which everyone can use, and that will talk one with each other. So the workflows will be beyond where you sit in the organization. They will be based on what we're trying to do. And those will be communication tools or collaborative elements between different departments. So it's not where you sit in the organization and who you report to. It's the greater good of a, a how you can connect with their peers, make information accessible for them, and so on and so forth. Uh, you can shape and automate workflows in minutes. Again, even automation like AI is a scary world. Uh, though it's a very scary world, it's still no code. Okay, so the automation is, is no code. You can build recipes. You can see uh, triggers and actions. They were all built on layman's language. Like you can define the automation and you can build as much as you wish based on your processes. I think what makes us lovable is the fact that the tool is very easy to use, very visual and very easy to deploy. And a statistic that amazed me is that 80% of our implementation takes under 10 weeks. Okay, you now I'm coming from an enterprise world, right? Which we you usually talk months or years. So I think the fact that we're basically talking about um, something which is that powerful uh, to deploy or very low time to market, I think that's a huge game changer in the IT uh, industry uh, or in the workspace. And of course, if you need something customized and you don't feel you're getting what you need out of Monday, there's tons of other options. There's uh, the Monday apps framework, there's the marketplace, there's the API. So eventually we believe we built a, a strong and powerful no code offering. But if you want to go deeper, or if you want to do some more customization, either to automations or widgets or recipes, or any type of thing that are mission critical for you, we have the platform and we have the framework to allow you to do so. Um, what you're seeing here is like a quote from uh, one of our CTOs based in Europe. Uh, it's important to understand that Monday.com is a platform that pays for itself. Like we want to make the employees more productive we want to uh, save time for automations. Uh, we want to avoid rework, which is up sometimes up to 50% of projects life. We want to avoid manual work. So there's, there's like lots of case studies, which explains how Monday basically change the culture of organizations. Uh, one of the famous stories that I really like is an organization in one of the uh, uh, Nordic countries where then the entire organization shifted from uh, five days work week into four days uh, work week. Due to Monday, they're now doing their meeting with an agenda built in Monday. And if anyone is interested, that's definitely something I can share with you. Cool. So now comes the question, what has to do, Mon what Monday.com has to do with basically the AI capabilities or why AI is on top of the priorities of what you're doing? So I think we need to understand that AI is transforming everything that people uh, are doing, okay? So if you want to be the work operating system of every process and every organization in the world, uh, if, even if it's small uh, or big, uh, AI needs to be part of the game, okay? Like 
Monday.com wants to change and transform the way people communicate and business processes uh, are being executed and AI will do the same. So I think that connecting the two makes a lot of sense. If we, talk the, if we take the AI assistance that we've recently built and launched within Monday.com, users can become more efficient in their work. Our own private vision of Monday.com is 1 billion workers worldwide using uh, Monday.com and of course the AI assistants all combined together to get more things done and to get a system which is easy and lovable. That's by the way the reason why we call ourselves Monday.com. We wanted to take uh, the hardest day of the week and make it lovable, easy, simple, and automated. Um, a few things that comes into mind when we talk about our Monday AI strategy. The first thing is we want to keep the concept of open platform. Okay, like we will not do something that will uh, harm or change the concept of an open platform, any language, any use case, any type of customization or currency is very much up to the user to decide. That's something we want to keep. But from the other hand, we want AI to be a complementary tool that operates in context. Like it comes into the workflow. And if you're doing a project management workflow that can help you within the workflow, so we want the AI to be an assistant within the way users currently operate. Like we don't want this to be a sideload. We don't want this to be a separated. We want this to be very much into the way that you, you do things. And in places where we can further boost, ease or simplify, those are the places which, which you can choose. Do I want to use AI? Uh, should I use my uh, uh, native language when I'm talking with AI? So we want, this, we want the AI to be a supporting tool through different levels or different uh, missions or different executions or different delivery that we prepare with the Monday, and you're gonna see it all today in the live demo. Uh, today we're gonna see a bunch of use cases, um, and and they were all rebuilt from the project uh, management world. Um, I would say that basically what we are about to see is how do we automate uh, 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 create tasks uh, in areas where we don't know. For example, imagine that. Uh, you just got um, a new request from your manager or from your peers and you're not really familiar from that world, generative AI can help you create or do the search or do the, the, the explore of what you need to do and how you can break this down into little tasks so it can get you up to speed much, much faster, even in areas where you feel that you don't have the capabilities or the previous uh, experience. So generative AI is also part of it. So it's not only like the other elements uh, of AI in which we retrieve information. Here it's going to be a lot into the mandate nature of create the tasks, generate them, uh, uh, modify the project plan, uh, understand the meaning. Okay, so you could see that it all comes into action. We can also summarize and paraphrase like things that we wrote while we communicated with our peers within and outside of the organization. One thing that I want to emphasize here is that Monday.com was built to work uh, inside the organization, but people external to the organization, that can be freelancers, subcontractors, the board, like those those users are free of charge, okay? Like we want them to be where you operate. We want them to come and report to you. We want you to bring them in, in into Monday. Those are free of charge users which can all communicate inside of Monday. Think about it as a portal, okay? Where you can have all your vendors, uh, suppliers, uh, freelancers, subcontractors all operating uh, they, from the one hand, they can see things on a need-to-know basis, but from the other hand, um, they can basically communicate and be with you upon the same system. So you don't have two different systems of three or four to communicate with them. Everything from uh, execution and briefing until delivery and invoicing can be with deadmonty.com uh, and can be boosted by the AI capabilities. Uh, one of the things we're really proud of is that we have our Monday Docs capabilities. It's our own uh, doc editor. Uh, which allows us to build documents. So it allows to uh, uh, basically remove the need to do some uh, context switching. Okay. Um, so you can get more with out of Monday and we don't want the users to go out, we want them to stay. Think something, you can think about things like uh, briefing, right? PRDs, they can all be here. You can build your own templates or you can enjoy one of the templates that have been built and provided by Monday. That's also something we want to see in the demo. Um, the fourth bullet is it's very easy and simple to build formulas. Like as, as users or as business or as stakeholders, a lot of time you need to remember so many technical syntax of how do I do my uh, a formula in Excel or how do I do my formula in other third-party tools. Like 
and there's always a missing space or a missing comma, right? So the nice thing is that AI can, all, can help you build the right formulas. Can you basically specify what's the calculation you want to get? For example, I want to get the percentage of growth between Q1 and Q2. AI is able to showcase and give you that piece of information, like the formula that will give you that number. So it, that's, I think that's a huge example of how we can basically um, enjoy uh, uh, the fruits uh, of AI, okay? And how we can get like a very simple formula and get things done uh, easier for us. And last thing is that we can create updates for our uh, uh, peers. We can get some uh, fast replies, like the communication become much, much, much easier. So staying on top of your, uh, uh, basically your communication or staying on top of what's needed from you and what others are waiting for you, or basically surfacing bottlenecks become much, much easier with the AI capabilities. So today we're going to walk through a day in the life of a project manager. We can see... We're going to see how we can prepare executive summary, how we improve collaboration, how do we centralize feedback for multiple stakeholders. Um, we're going to define some priorities and ownership. That's, that's what Monday is all about. We're going to create some new tasks. We're going to explore some best practices in an industry we don't know. For everything that you see on this screen, we're going to use a project manager named Katie. Okay? Katie is a, a very senior project manager. She's been around for many years. A management trust her. Uh, her peer trusters, uh, the director reports of her cluster. So Katie will be our project manager and we will see from the very first moment that Katie comes in the morning and she drinks coffee until the day uh, uh, she leaves the office. We're going to see exactly uh, how AI hands-on can change our life. I would say that Katie is very close to a burnout. Like for a lot of time, she's been walking uh, around the clock. She's been dreaming about her upcoming trip to Paris and AI can even help her build that plan as you're going to see it. Uh, today. Last slide before we go into the live demo. So the first thing is which AI service is Monday.com using? So for now we're using uh, OpenAI or what you know as the chat GPT behind the scenes. Um, in addition to it, we are now uh, integrating with more and more AI services. We want to have uh, multiple AI services behind the scenes so the user can choose the most relevant or get the most relevant piece of information. If you think about it, AI behind the scenes brings hundreds of millions of records. So the more AI services we bring in, the more uh, the data will be uh, accurate and very fast. Second question is, how does Monday.com handle security issues with AI? I think that's like a, an excellent question. Um, basically, the security issues uh, with AI uh, are basically handled uh, from the fact that we have a dedicated task force. Uh, before we even implemented the AI, we defined that we're not going to use uh, use of data at all regions uh, by all means. Okay, so either the input or output of what you put into Monday, like that's not something we use to train the model. So the security issues with, with AI, we have a dedicated team who's basically verifying this and it's embedded into the protocols of our AI team. Uh, so we're very careful. Um, things like, and that relates to uh, the third bullet, things like if I have uh, questions or if I've asked questions, or if I provided data, we keep the region separation. Uh, we also keep information or protocols like GDPR and HIPAA, and Monday.com is certified for both. So the security issues have been a, a top concern for us. Um, and, and we basically said that the same uh, uh, security concept that we implemented with the platform will apply to, to the AI. Um, basically, we, we, we built a specific document to share with our users about what we do and what we don't do and how we protect their information with AI. Uh, so no training of AI models with input or output, uh, by all means, across all countries, across all use cases, so no piece of information that you put into Monday, which is also encrypted, by all means at rest uh, and while in transit. Uh, that is also the reason, and that relates to the fifth bullet. Why does Monday.com require admin and user approval? Because uh, this changes the terms and condition. We want to make sure that not a single user wants the Monday AI. It comes from uh, admins. It gets a support. It had been revised from our customers' legals. So we see this as a mutual journey, which needs to be agreed upon. It's not only a single feature uh, that you can turn on or off. We see this as a change of concept. We want to give proper training, proper guidance, best practices, and want to make sure you get the most out of it. So security and usage 
uh, are basically two things. We keep the balance uh, between them and we are very respectful like everything else we do into the security. We even have a dedicated field information security officer, uh, which the expertise that he has is around AI and he's also meeting our enterprise customers one by one to make sure uh, this is satisfying. Okay, so uh, that's it. Before we go into the live demo, I hope you found this uh, preview uh, useful. Uh, time to uh, bring coffee or water or tea. Let's uh, take down our sleeves and uh, let's start with the live demo, starting now. Okay, wonderful. So uh, Katie just arrived to the office. Uh, she just uh, took the very first uh, few sips uh, of her coffee. And the first thing she needs to do this morning is basically uh, report uh, the upcoming risks for the executive management. We're talking about people who are very executive CVPs that uh, they don't have a lot of time. The meeting is between 45 minutes to an hour and she really need to make sure to review all of the different uh, proje uh, projects and their associated risks as we can see them here. This is project alpha with associated risks. Uh, one of the nice things about Monday is that you have your uh, risk management methodology all into a uh, Monday, okay? So what she's doing here, she's basically clicking on risk number eight. You can see it's an active risk with high probability and a very high uh, impact. We can see who's the owner and what's the date. The moment she clicked about to retrieve more details about it, she can basically see that there's a very, very uh, detailed uh, piece of information here telling that there's some risk factors from the hardware world, the software world, and the network world. The nice thing here is that if she wants to prepare to the meeting and get more things uh, basically done, like what she can basically do, she can ask the AI assistants to summarize this all to a CVP's language. Okay, so she can talk with C-levels. Uh, by clicking add to update, she just got a summary telling that there's different factors, the hardware, the software, the network, without going into the uh, nitty gritty details of what they are. She was now able to retrieve and extract uh, a piece of information even if she's not so technical, or even if she doesn't read through the entire update, I think this tells a story. And now we can do it for every uh, specific risk. We can easily search and retrieve by people who manage those risks, and we can filter by the type of risk. We can see the score of the risk, the, the, the money, the recommended action, they all come from Monday. But I think the fact that we can easily summarize a long updates that we got from others, I think that's a true game changer. So that was Katie's first uh, uh, meeting, and we can see that we got like a fairly nice uh, summary uh, right here. We can also see very similar to a social media. We can see who have seen it, who opened the update from web, from email, and so on. Let's go to the uh, uh, second part uh, or the second meeting that Katie has through this day. This is a board we call the portfolio management. It allows project managers all across the world to see what's coming in the portfolio. And that shows you the association between a project, a program, and a portfolio, okay? You can see that it's also very visual and, and very uh, easy. We can see the health, the schedule, the scope, the cost, the risk, and so on. We can also see that for every uh, project, we have a project brief. These are the live active projects that we have in Katie's organization. These are the ones that got completed. We can see which one have a, a risk and so on and so forth. Since Monday.com is basically our communication tool uh, and also the tool that allows us to do easier briefing and reduce lots of meetings, we can see that we have like a full uh, document here. Okay, like from Project Echo, this is the description, this is the conclusion. However, Katie's peers are already in a situation where they really want to get more and more information. If I click here, you can see that Katie was asked, what is this about? Please update the PMO teams globally so we can have enough time to prepare. The same concept that we've seen uh, before in the update section, we can now see it here. By simply clicking the AI assistant, we can basically summarize the full document of what this project is all about. At this point of time, uh, we can also rank, okay? Like, did we get a good summary, yes or no? We can click on add to doc. And now we got a full summary uh, on project uh, Delta. This is something very shareable, like even if there's still gonna be changes in the scope of this project or the definition of this uh, planned project, um, this is something we can still do. Like one of the things I really like is the fact that you can easily search 
And you can say that, hey, PMO team of London, and hey, PMO team of New York, including multiple members, uh, here's everything uh, you need to know. And basically, that that makes it this one uh, done. Once we click on reply, we can see who's seen it. And in a single button, we were able to communicate better with multiple teams distributed uh, across uh, the world. Uh, they will also get an email behind the scenes if you wish. But if you want to do things more uh, more complicated via integrations, let's say send an SMS or send a WhatsApp, uh, like there's tons of capabilities of how you use Monday to communicate, but also can use some other tools, for example, like Slack, Teams, and so on and so forth, based on your methodology, all is no code. Like you don't have to rebuild anything uh, or custom development anything. Like everything is something that we have from the vanilla uh, offering. Wonderful. Let's go to the third scenario. The third scenario is that there was a project that got closed. That's Project Alpha. Multiple users basically opened a Monday document and gave their feedback. The project team said, uh, what they had in mind about Project Alpha, the stakeholder, the end users, the management. Uh, the nice thing, or what I want to emphasize here, is that even if people want to write with AI, okay, like AI to write them a paragraph and they can put like a draft of their feelings or their feedback and it will be written in a professional way, that can happen. So let's assume that Interface One, Project Team, Stakeholders, End Users, Management, they all used AI to Right, but now the nice thing is that we can basically summarize, but that's that's not all because we've seen summarize before, right? So now comes the question, what else can we do from a Monday doc? So after we summarize, and trust me, I, I read it carefully, this is a really good summary of what we need to do. Now we wanna be, um, we wanna get insights, right? And we wanna be very actionable. So if this is our summary, what we can easily do is read through it. That will aggregate everything. Um, and we can basically take action items directly from the document. Let's say that um, we can see that there is a need for stronger risk management, okay? Then by simply clicking here, we can go and click on item. We can add into the board of lesson learning, which is a recurring board that develops and implies the methodology of how we do projects. We can put a new action item. Once we click on this action item, we can assign uh, an individual, let's say Tal, we can put a priority and we can put also in place like a given date. Let's do it one more time. So this is like a live and dynamic thing where you can associate action items out of the user inputs. In the board called lesson learning, those will live, they will get like an owner and a date. Okay, let's do another a simple example. Here we can see that there was a need for a better uh, resource location. I'm clicking here on let's create an item. I can put it on any type of board as I wish. This is an action item, okay? Uh, I can put here like the given uh, persona. Let's say I want this one to be led by Eve. This one is with a low priority and this should be done by a specific date. So that makes us uh, extract the data that we want. We can now see that the lesson learning board includes all of the previous lesson learning of Katie's organization and that's an organization I want to be a part of. That's an organization that basically gives us the capabilities to, to grow and learn and improve and do things better. And for each one of these, uh, basically, uh, items or tasks, we have an owner, which makes sure things get done. A lot of time, uh, we're getting things which are, uh, I would say, floating, and there's no two owner or everyone are owners. This ensures that things basically happen. Okay, let's continue. Let's say that now Katie was called into the CEO's room and she got a task which is not very familiar with. We talked earlier about the unknowns. That is the place where she needs the generative AI. Basically, the CEO wants to generate more revenue and is feeling that we're falling behind. We have two months until the end of the year, November and December. So if I'm clicking here on the AI assistant, I can basically write in my own language. And let's say I'm Katie. I want you to create a list of tasks to generate more revenue, and I want you to do it for an insurance company. So it can also be flavored by the type of company. The more data you put into the app, or you, the more data you feed in, the better the results will be tuned or tweaked to, to what you need. So don't be afraid to write long sentences as a briefing. They will help you get more accurate data. The moment I click here on generate, 
I can get like a full task. I can choose which one I want to do, which one I don't. So I can do some post-processing. The moment we can click on add items, as I've just that did, you can see that some powerful automation kicked in. An owner was assigned, okay? A date was assigned. The status became planned. So this is a way for us to build plans or to generate data in areas of unknowns and uncertainty that can help us and save us a lot of time of research. Uh, another example, if we said it before, it was an insurance company. Now it's a retail. Again, you can see that the, re the results here are different than before. Okay. I'm still doing some post-processing. Okay. But now if I want to uh, uh, reduce costs uh, and I want to do it for a retail company, not an insurance, you can see how the results changes from one board to another and how the automations can start workflows uh, and boards can talk with each other and people can get assigned and notified for new tasks coming in. Super exciting, no? I hope I'm not the only one exciting out of it, but I think it's like a true game changer for the way we do things. If, if you take into consideration everything we've just done so far and how much time it took Katie and how many context switches or pauses or breaks she, she needed to do so, now we can see the power of automations, workflow and AI all working together and it feels like very, a coherent or very embedded into the tool itself. Uh, another good example that I really like is what happened when I want to go into like a project which was executed and you can see here like a live project plan of project alpha. You can see that everything was done. Uh, this is a project we we're about to close and was a very good project. However, we realized that we missed the closure tasks like handoff and CSAT and so on. Same concept here with a very simple language of I want you to create inside my closure group a list of tasks of required for project closure, let's say some best practices and so on. That can be uh, running customer satisfaction surveys, handoff, um, saving the documents for any day and so on and so forth. So with a single click, we were able to add phases, okay, or best practices. And you can see that the automations always click in, assigning owner, in, on, uh, contributors, uh, automatically say where are we in terms of like time uh, of the project, so we can easily get some really good uh, uh, examples like thank and recognize the team members, create a project closure report to be uh, produced, uh, assign uh, tasks to team members upon closure, like everything super powerful and really contributing to, to the day-to-day. -day. Okay, let's move on. Another thing or another uh, uh, topic that Katie was very, uh, uh, for Katie it was very hard to find a better way to do it is to understand if she can intake more projects, uh, what's the team capacity, who's doing what. And I think for that, we have the workload widget of monday.com. The workload widget basically helps you to get a true understanding of who's doing what. Uh, here we can see, assuming this is a tech-based organization, what is the backend team are doing. Uh, we can see what are the front-end team are doing and what does my infrastructure team in doing, including like a backlog. The visualization here is super critical. Red means overcapacity, like I'm over the headcount or uh, the amount of hours I can take work for. This is the sweet spot, like this week specifically. And these are the things that I'm doing. And every click here, we retrieve the piece of information from the low level board. And this is understaffed. Okay, so just to summarize what we're seeing on the 44th week of the year, uh, the backend team was overcapacity doing three things. Okay, uh, on the 45th week of the year, they were just on the sweet spot of uh, the right allocation. And on the 47th week of the year, uh, they were basically under capacity. They could have taken more projects uh, uh, under their wings. So basically this gives you a very good idea, either per teams or individual, who's doing what, and answers the very simple question. Can I take in more projects? Can I get more productivity? And um, so I think this is super critical, first for the project manager, then for the program manager, and then for the portfolio uh, manager. And even if you're not coming even from project management, I think you want to get a true visualization of what's happening in the org to take uh, data-driven decisions. Wonderful. Let's move on to budget management because we can't really talk projects without talking about budget. Uh, what we're seeing here is that um, there's like multiple uh, elements to the budget. There's like an IT budget, uh, there's facilities budget, there's hardware budget, software budget, and real estate. One of the nice things I like about Monday is that we have a conditional uh, coloring, which allows us to visualize. For example, if my remaining budget is negative, like the entire 
a row is marked in red. Um, however, if, if it's positive and I still have a remaining budget, I can basically uh, color code it in green, and that can be in a very uh, complex logic. So if I click here, we can do any type of like triggers and actions, again, fully no code to visualize and get like uh, the summary screen that I want to do. And again, everything here works in real time. Here we can basically see that there's like two uh, uh, main uh, formula columns, the remaining budget and the quarter over quarter uh, percentage. So remember we said that you can uh, use the AI assistance through the building. So if I click here, that's our remaining budget. And I want to ask my AI assistant to do any type of calculation. We have our uh, basically formula builder, okay? That can help you build it. I won't do it now, just in terms of simplicity, I might just add like a new one. So the moment you add formula column and you wanna uh, use it, you can basically use the AI uh, assistant. Uh, just make sure you're using the proper resolution. You see now it's working. I click on the formula builder. Uh, I ask AI to generate um, uh, the required sum. Okay, based on some uh, calculation, I can do a copy and a paste. I might need to do some uh, post-processing or not. Okay, so it's very much like depend on uh, what the result I'm getting, but it basically talks uh, in our language. So in my case, it's doing planned amount minus actual amount is actually the amount left. I can change the name of the columns. I can modify them. You can see that I just got it to work. That can also work in scenarios when I want to calculate growth. So it can be as intelligent as this. Again, clicking on my formula or changing it. Like here, I'm asking to calculate the growth from Q1 to Q2, and I want to see it in percentage. So I'm very specific with what I want to do. At the moment I put it into the AI capabilities, and in this case, I'm getting like a, a full answer and, and a logic. I can, of course, do some tweaks uh, upon it, but I can copy and paste and get like the results that I want to get. So tons of other things that uh, we can do here. Uh, it also uh, adds the brackets. So a lot of, lot of uh, other stuff. I always like to add uh, the paraphrase telling like, build me a monday.com formula. I think it's also a best practice they worth using, but it allows you to do lots of lots of budget and sophisticated calculations, not only in terms of numbers, but also in terms of strength and Charles handling. Last thing, since Katie is dreaming her trip to Paris and she saved tons of tons of time using the AI, we want to see if the AI can basically um, give her what she needs and build the dreamy course to Paris. So we're going to the AI assistance, we're asking it to write a four day trip to Paris, no museum, not a lot of walking, great food and great wine. That's the relaxing time and the family time that Katie needs so much. Uh, for those of you who've been in Paris, you can see that uh, we got like a pretty good course. So we're about to get like a pretty good course. Uh, once we add it to the doc as a Monday doc, this is what we're gonna do in day one, day two, day three, day four. So any question is possible and any answer uh, uh, will be retrieved. And regardless of what you're doing, business or personal, monday.com with the AI capabilities can support you and help you and save you precious time. I hope you enjoyed the session the way I enjoyed uh, talking with you. I'll be more than happy to take together with our partners some follow-up questions and assist with whatever you want to assist. You have a wonderful day ahead and thank you very much for listening. Looking forward to hear from you.